Welcome back, everybody. It's another weekend, and I feel like another prep weekend. I feel like we're always prepping for something, getting ready for something, getting ready for a trip, which we are doing today. We are getting ready for Glamis. Sup, Jay? So, with Glamis, of course, we need sand tires. Glamis is all about the dunes, guys, and we definitely want the right tires when we're there. So... I just feel like the the holiday shopping just continues. I hope this is the last of it. And <laughs> so let's <Never>. get these. <laughs> we're going to get these sand tires on because we're getting ready to leave next week. So, yeah, it's just another weekend of these prep. Due to now too, so. well, well, it's the holidays are over, so I'm going to have to find Dude, another this way. This is what a new one looks like. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to tell me, so. Well, one first things first. We're headed to the dunes next week and we need to swap these out. And Jay's gonna try to help. Where you two? So uh okay, you got the tires mounting. Balance. And um I'm gonna go ahead and uh pop everything on. So let's go ahead and jack up the car. What's it like traveling with two dogs? There it is. There's one over there. And here's the other one. And third one's driving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the, big, the biggest one right here. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, so we're headed to Glamis, guys. So if you saw that we just kept, kept all those tires, of course, you need sand tires to get out there. So it's going to be our first trip to Glamis with the rig and with me because one time Kevin went and I wasn't there. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> but, oh, oh, we went Black Friday. You were working. So, well, I, I, I guess. <laughs> Somebody has to bring in the money. So, so we're going to, right when we get there, we have another couple hours. We left a little early. Um, it's Friday. We left a little bit early so we can still get a little bit of daylight because we definitely want to see where we're going and how the rig does. Um, and if we need to turn on the 4x4 or not, I, I, I doubt it. I don't think we're going to run into well, it. Well, actually, um, there is a uh, snow In or sand. Miles, take the exit on oh, the left okay. toward I-10. So I do want to test it out. Okay, so I mean, that's, in the drive, that's in the drive mode. Yeah, so okay. if you uh, go ahead and press through the drive modes, there's five uh, types of settings. And the very end, that will show you the uh, sand and snow. Oh, cool. So I, I, I wasn't paying attention. I, so we're going to definitely put that into test. All right, so we're, well, uh, well, so the drive mode, if we put it in sand, do we need to put it on 4x4 or no? That's just uh, the drive mode, right? Yeah, so then later, what we're going to have to do, I put it in drive mode, um, sand mode sand snow and then later it made me it's gonna make me uh switch it to four high or four low most okay. likely four low and we would have to go out and unlock those hubs no actually no? um i noticed that the front diff has automatic hubs oh. but then later it'll lock automatically kind of like a um, limited slip in the rear diff okay. i don't know how that works but we'll see and if we do get stuck, we can manually fully lock it. Okay. So you just turn the hubs on each side and it'll fully lock. So it'll be basically, I don't know if the rear has an LSD or a posi, 
I kind of doubt him because it's on F550 chassis. So it'll be a true three-wheel drive. All right. So, <laughs> like I said, a couple more hours, and we're going to test to see how this baby does. Um, well, and depending on what the terrain looks like. So we'll, we'll give you guys a scoop as soon as we're, we're there. All right, guys. Five hours later. <laughs> That's just the reality of uh, being a weekend warrior. We always come in when it's dark, but look at that, we're here. Now we just gotta find our party through all this mess, my goodness. I don't know if you guys can see it. All right, we'll get a better view once we're in we're in it. <laughs> Alright. It feels pretty good with the sumo springs. Oh yeah, driving through the dirt. Yeah, it feels way better. Remember when I we were... I forgot that we went to Utah and we didn't really go uh, take these boondocking yet. Alright, we're just trying to make our way in. So far, we're on a dirt road. It's similar to like uh, the high desert, the hard sand. We're not in any soft sand yet. Tons of firewood here. I know where to get firewood if I'm low. Yeah, so, so far, I don't think we're gonna need to turn on the four by four. We're not uh, in, yeah, we're not. we do. Oh, you do? Oh, wait, no. Is it getting soft? Okay, so it is. We are getting a little sluggish right now. Oh no, I just need. Uh, so did you change the drive mode? Yeah, you know what? Let's put it in four. Change the drive mode. So let's go. Sand for improved performance. Let's go for high. So we're not gonna go outside to the oh, hubs. Oh wow, what a difference. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, so we... <laughs> wow, way better. Cool. Dude, it feels like the... Uh... Yeah, we were kind of getting a little sluggish when we came in. Watch out, there's that looks like a dip. Or from here, it looks like a dip. Yeah, it feels good. Uh, once we get to camp, I'll see how much further we're in and I'll see if I can get an outside shot once this guy gets off of me. So a little preoccupied with the dogs, trying to juggle this all at once. Man, the 4 by 4 is working great. Alright, so I stepped outside guys. It's pretty soft, so whatever we just did, we didn't lock the hubs or turn the wheels or anything. We're doing pretty well. Not too bad. We're turning up here to the right over here. Yeah, I wished we could have filmed this in when there was a little daylight, but there isn't. But I am walking in some pretty soft, um, like beach-like sand. And it's, it's doing pretty well. I mean, there's all these other rigs out here, so I don't see why it wouldn't be doing too well or well at all. But it, it, it's, we're here. We're here, guys. So it's taking me a little bit of t time to walk because the sand is pretty soft for me to walk. So now we're just trying to find our spot here. It's very, there's a lot going on, guys. All right, just trying to get our spot here. All right, so that wasn't too bad at all. We just had to turn it, turn the drive mode on to sand mode and adjust the four wheel settings. But okay, so here you go. But, so he's pretty dug in there right now. So he's a little dug in there. You're a little dug in there. Are we good? So we're just, we just need to make sure we're leveled. So that's how soft the sand is.
How's Is it? it so soft? Dude? Yeah. So we're pretty dug in. Yeah, we're pretty dug in here. Sorry for the loud music. It's moving pretty well, guys. We're moving. This sand is really, really soft here. It's really... No, you're clear back here. So we didn't want to be too dug in, so we're just trying to get a better position or a better position where we can actually fit. If you guys, there's just so much going on here. So yeah, over there was pretty, pretty soft. The wheels are back up. So it was soft over there, but I mean, it still didn't have any trouble getting back out. So all in all, it's doing pretty well. So he's going back at that angle over there. That's where it's getting soft. All right, yeah, it's... it's he was a little dug in there earlier, but this is a lot better. You were dug in earlier, but yeah, you did a, you're better positioned. So he was dug in here earlier. So we did pretty well, not too bad guys. We're here. Let's get unloaded. Let's get the weekend started. Uh, let me all right, guys, going on for going out for a night ride, and we are gonna test something out. We're gonna just We're gonna put around. Boost. We're gonna put around tonight, and then we'll turn up the boost tomorrow, guys. So let me show, so the rig did fine yesterday um, with the video quality that at night, I mean, it did pretty well. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like in the morning. So let me flip the camera around and give you guys a quick show of that. All right, so here we are. So it got pretty soft on the other side over here. Sorry, it is a windy weekend, so can't do anything about that. <laughs> so over here it was pretty soft and we just had to readjust. So we found some pretty decent ground now. It was where, I mean, it did good. We, when we first came in, we started getting sluggish and then we kicked it back into uh, the drive. We kicked the drive mode into sand 
and then we turned it down to four. Uh, I, I don't remember if he said four high or four low. I gotta check back on that. And we did not need to go outside to lock the front hubs or anything. It instantly, guys, it instantly kicked in, and that sluggishness that we were getting pulled back, it it was nothing. I mean, but then again, look at all these other rigs out here, guys. We are by the Glamis Beach Store, probably one of the busiest sites. There's a bunch of different washes at Glamis, at one of the busiest. So we'll head out in a little bit, and we will uh, check out all the storefront and whatnot. But yeah, I mean, there's tons of people out here. So of course the rig did find no problem because a lot of these, you know, don't they don't come with equipped with a 4x4 but they have trucks pulling it in so the, while we're here we will get the weekend started and see what's out here ice cream for breakfast <laughs> guys really quick all of these campers here that we're with they are all from a rental company so they you call them up tell them how many you want and basically this party that we're with rented out their whole fleet so I just want to show you guys how legit this company pretty much is they basically hooked everybody up 
dropped everything, hooked everything up for everybody. And when the tanks, the gray tanks get full or the black tanks, they'll call somebody out. But for the most part, um, their service is pretty quick because I've seen where they needed. See, here's the water tank and they deliver gas too. So if your rig needs gas or whatever, but check how they're set up right here. This is so legit. You see that big generator over there? That's what's pair powering all these rigs. And I'll show you guys how many rigs they powered up. So like, we're Weekend Warriors, we have our own setup. But if you are looking to do something similar to what we do, but you guys don't have a setup, I mean, you can definitely call these people out. They'll drop it off for you. They'll set everything up, pretty organized. But this is what it's running off of. I think it's off right now because today's the last day, but it's a big, humongous diesel generator. Basically one of those commercial ones that powers up, you know, buildings. And just look at all the load that's tied up this weekend. So there has to be more than, I think all these units in the circle are hooked up to it. You'll see all the power lines all hooked up. Yeah, it just keeps going on. There's the inside of the circle. All right, and we're getting over here. I, I want, uh, so they're not, come on diesel, sorry. Yeah, and they're they're pretty they're local, but they I'm I'm I don't think they just they do other locations other than Glamis, but so it's not it's not too bad. This is a, I this is a pretty le, this is a pretty legit setup. If you like this, uh, to you know call for these people, out, I'll definitely put their details in the description because I thought this would be pretty beneficial for anybody that just wants to do weekend activities. Because we came out here, we left Friday, we got here Friday night. And I mean, we were do our nine to five jobs and we <laughs> we come out here on the weekends. And if we're not out here on the weekends, we're working on our projects to get us out here to the weekend. But yeah, look at all these, they're all set up. And every trailer does have a backup generator, a Honda EU generator. I haven't seen it needed to be used only on one unit because I think it needed to be on its own. I don't I don't know the details to that. I mean, I, we're not renting, so I, I wouldn't know the specifics, but this is a pretty uh, organized company. They parked out all the stuff here and all the parties literally just show up, pack their camp, and they're ready for the weekend. So we, we passed by like, I'm gonna count down the line, but I wanna say there was like 10 trailers. I think we're getting to the, beginning of the circle right now. Let's go diesel. Yeah, so I think this is the last unit that's uh, set up to the system. I wanna say, well, this one's not in good shape, so I don't think anyone was staying in that one. Okay, yeah, this, they're back, we're back right there. I wanna say these, three units were or no these three units might be on their own so from behind us all the way to where I am right now everybody's all hooked up so yeah I'll definitely give you guys the information you don't have to have this obviously large of a party but um, if you guys were planning a weekend or something they drop it off for you if your tanks are running low they fill your water up and they they make sure you guys don't really have to worry about all the stuff that you know Kevin and I worry about but we don't mind because that's the cost of RV ownership <laughs> guys that's it for this weekend I thanks for following us along every single weekend guys we appreciate it be sure to hit that subscribe button see you guys next week